Hello, and welcome to this short presentation on advanced shopping campaign optimization for fashion and clothing brands. If you're watching this video, chances are you own or work for or are thinking about starting an online e-commerce store based around fashion and clothing. A little bit about me. My name is Bobby Pulte. I'm the head of PPC operations at Search Scientists, where we help businesses spending over $5,000 a month scale and improve return on ad spend on their PPC campaigns. This is across several platforms, AdWords, Bing Ads, Amazon Ads, Facebook Ads, basically anywhere PPC is involved, we like to be involved too. What this video is about, as the title suggests, it is about shopping campaign optimization and the techniques we're gonna talk about can help you win more high value ad auctions while reducing costs for low value ad auctions. We audit dozens of accounts and this issue is found in 90 plus percent of them. And the techniques we talk about oftentimes lead to better return on ad spend and more sales for your business. If you get value out of this video and you're interested in more, be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. So jumping right in, what are shopping ads and why are they so important? Shopping campaigns on AdWords are typically the highest converting ad type for cold traffic. In the example here, you see a cold traffic top of the funnel term running shoes. And on the right, you'll see all the shopping results. Many different brands, styles, uh, men's and women's, a lot of different information there. And the chances are that somebody finds the shoe that they're gonna buy and click right on it and be done are low. And the terms that you appear for are based on your product feed and the results are many. So if you sell blue swimmies, you're going to appear for a lot of different queries based around blue swimmies. This represents both issues and opportunity. The biggest issue is you set one bid per product, even though that one product can appear for thousands of different search terms. In the example here, this product has a, a bid of a dollar and it's shown up over 127,000 times. That's quite a bit to be relying on just one bid. And it's important to remember that not all keywords convert the same. On the one end, you have low converting, broad, generic, top of the funnel keywords such as shoes or running shoes, and for those you want to bid low. And then are they looking for men's or women's shoes, trail running or track running? Do they want shoes to represent individuality or do they want a more casual low key look? Is there a certain brand they want? That brings us to the other side, specific high converting bottom of the funnel terms. And on these, you're going to want to bid high. These are terms such as Lululemon, black running shoes for women, green trail running shoes for men. These people know exactly what they're looking for. As we just talked about, you can only set the bid once, one bid per item rather, and AdWords doesn't let you pick the keywords for shopping ads, so what do you do? That leads us to an alpha beta structure for shopping campaigns. Now, on the left, you'll see campaign number one, and on the right, you'll see campaign number two. These are identical. All your products should be in both of these campaigns. Now the differences come with how you maintain them and how you bid on them. On the left is your beta campaign. It's low converting, it's top of the funnel. On the right is your high converting, the bottom of the funnel, the alpha campaign. So in this example, product A, they're in both campaigns. In this campaign, you bid low. And in the other alpha, bottom of the funnel campaign, you bid high. And the results of this of bidding low is you increase your return on ad spend for some of those broader terms. And the result of bidding higher, it increases your revenue and profit for specific winning terms. Now the technical part of this is the priority. In the beta, top of the funnel campaign, you wanna set the priority to high. Google will check here first and that can kind of help maximize your cheap traffic. If they happen to convert, that's excellent. And in the other campaign, the alpha campaign, Set the priority to medium or low. I prefer low to start. You can always change it later on. And Google will check your second. And the way you set this up is you're going to want to use negative keywords to block these high converting terms that funnels them into the alpha campaign. So if someone is searching for those Lululemon black women's shoes, Google will check here, realize it's blocked, send them to this other campaign where you're bidding high and you're going to be sure to show up for that. And since they're looking for it, they're in more of a buying mode and you're going to be in a prime position to convert. This is what it looks like inside of AdWords, inside of shopping campaign. Uh, you click on the campaign priority in the settings of the campaign. 
This is where you pick low, medium, or high. Again, your bottom of the funnel alpha campaign should be on low, and the top of the funnel beta campaign should be on high. Now, in terms of managing this, once a week you should look through your search terms and anything that is a alpha, quote unquote, winner's term, a very specific term, you should block that in your negative keywords in your beta top of the funnel campaign. So that will then funnel that more specific term into your alpha campaign, the bottom of the funnel, with a high bid. This does increase the amount of bid optimization by two, but it is worth it. Once you start to see the results, you know, this is going to be a, a pretty minor thing to have to deal with. But just keep in mind that this will kind of double your bid optimization workload, which in my opinion isn't a huge deal. Once you get the system down, pretty easy to maintain. And if you want to learn more about the math behind the perfect bid, we do have an excellent blog post titled The Math Behind the Perfect Bid, which you can go on our site and read about that. Now, the expected result of all of this, if you're getting 20,000 clicks a month at a three times return on ad spend, setting up the alpha beta, filtering the keywords that you want to bid high on into a different campaign, you should see around a 10% bump in return on ad spend and your clicks within two or three months. Of course, nothing is a given, but this is what we've seen a lot of the time. You're gonna win more high value ad auctions and you're gonna reduce the costs on your lower value ad auctions. If you don't have the time to manage your own PPC accounts, maybe we can do that for you. We do offer free audits. You can go to the link you see here and see if you qualify and we'll reach out to you and make that happen. Thanks a lot for tuning in and have a great day.